Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come it like a cherry. Come it like a cherry. Come Your boy done switched up on you. Come it like a cherry. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look, if this is your very first time to this channel, run over and subscribe for me. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then, welcome to the List family. Now that you're part of this great family, there's some things that we do. We do them every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, comment like a share and go for the team. Comment like share and go for the team. Comment like share and don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to don't forget to comment like a share. Okay, we're gonna pray. Y'all, we're gonna get into the goodness. Here we go. Amen. How y'all doing today? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? You guys, today, we have got, baby, we have got oxtails, oxtails for day two of three of soul food. We have it over a bit of rice. We have our gravy roux in here. We have some um, carrots, and we have some potatoes in here as well. We got some peppers, the jalapeno. You already know the rest. Big Bean is in the building, baby. Big Bean is here. Big Bean is here to help me out. Because, baby, we finna eat. Let's see if he's actually refreshing. Mm. Yes, he am. Okay, you guys. I'm a little bit off today because I'm ready to get into the goodness. Also, you guys, in a minute, once I get to eating... I have the ingredients over here to the side for me to let you know how to make this. It's very, very simple, but it's very, very delicious. Okay, y'all. Did y'all see that? Now, that's how things go in these videos. Anyway, y'all, let's get to eat. Y'all, we have rice down here at the bottom. Now, I'm going to let y'all know now. I don't favor anybody's rice that I can't put sugar on. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, that gravy is good. And it has, like I said, carrots mm, and potatoes in it. And it's so easy to make. It really, really is. Here's one of the oxtails, one of the smaller ones. So as you can see it, mm, y'all, it's so tender. Mm. And I'm going to tell you how to get yours just like that. Mm, mm, mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. So you got the meat, just jump off the bone. It just jump off of there. You guys have asked me to cook this so many times. that I felt like today I would give you a little treat. Since we're doing three days of soul food. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. mm. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Here's a piece of one of the potatoes. Let me see if I can give it to you. Hold up. I don't want to waste it. Here's a piece of one of the potatoes that's in it. Ugh. Can you see it? Mmm. Yeah, this is good. Like I said, I am not a lover of anything that has rice in it that I can't put sugar on. But y'all, this is just good. This is just good. Mm -mm -mm. And the oxtails are divine. They're divine. Let me see if I can let you see this one. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Baby! Baby! And y'all, look. Let me show y'all here. The meat. Just this a spoon now, just peel away from the bone. It just peel away. I'm gonna tell you how you can make yours just like that. Mm -mm -mm. 
It don't need no salt. It don't need no pepper. It don't need nothing. I'm going to tell you how to make it where it's perfect every time. Perfect. Mm-mm, mm Y'all, it's good. That's just good. As a matter of fact, even though I love it with everything, I don't want to take away from this since I finally made it. I'm not even eating the jalapeno. I'm just going to eat it, y'all. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm. Oxtail. With a gravy roux. What I call a roux anyway. I don't know if that's the right terminology or not. <laughs> Mmm, they just so good. Oh, they're so good. Mmm. Um. Oh, they're so good. They really, really are. Mm -mm -mm. Tender, tender. Yeah, this is excellent. But anyway, how y'all doing today? How are you? I hope you guys are enjoying the soul food. Mm -mm -mm. I am. I love home-cooked meals better than anything anyway. I really do. I really, really do. I have to mix it up, you know. And I, I'm a lover of seafood too now. I have to mix it up because I know my audience. Y'all don't want to see the same thing every day. Mmm. And I don't want to eat the same thing every day. I try to make sure, you know, my channel is very versatile. I give you a little of this, a little of that. I said a little of that. <laughs> a little of this and a little of that. I do my very, very best. Mm-hmm. Mmm, mm-mm-mm. Y'all, that gravy, that this particular recipe I'm going to give you makes is so good. Mmm. It's so good, y'all. Like I said, it's very, very simple. I'm going to give you, I have the ingredients over here to the side um, with me to show you. So that you don't get mixed up. Because I'm not exactly set up and ready yet to do the... Here's some of the rice, y'all. It's got a carrot on it. See that gravy in there? I'm not exactly set up yet or ready to do the cooking shows. So what I'm going to do, since y'all want to know the recipes to some of the things that I am cooking... I'm going to bring the ingredients over here to me, over here with me, so I can just show you. That way you have it. Mm -mm -mm. And you'll know exactly what I'm adding and exactly what you need to add to make it look and taste just like mine. I hope that helps you out for now until I get everything set up for mm, the cooking shows. I am working on it, though. Uh, y'all, Big Ben is so refreshing. Yes, he is. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all have been cooking this for hours. So I'll go ahead and let you know the um, recipe that I'm going to give you. It takes six hours to make. It takes six hours to make these. Which, if you've ever tried to cook them before, or if you cook oxtails, you know. It's not a quick fix to these at all. It takes a long time. I don't know why, but this is a tough piece of beef. It's really, really tough, and you have to really cook it. Mmm. 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 To be able to get your meat off the bone. And baby, oxtails is hot. I cannot leave my meat on that bone. I cannot. <laughs> 
Nope. I gotta be able to get all my meat off there. Every bit. Mmm. Because a pack of them with about maybe three this size is like 12, 13 bucks. It is. Mmm. Y'all, but look, that meat just come right out the bottom. When you cook them this way, there's another little bitty one. Mmm. Mm. So many people have asked me, mmm, to do oxtail so many times. Mmm. But I just never did it. I never really thought about it. You know, I answered the comment. Mm. But then I just never think about it when I get ready to cook. Mm. 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 Well, today, when I got ready mm. Mm. to cook for this meal, I got to thinking, I was like, what can I bring to them? that I've never had or that I haven't had in a long, long time. Plus, my race Alexander was in my head. That Sam's were a mother. And I knew if I came on here with some pork today, she was going to be like, Lips, I cannot. You need to quit that. <laughs> so, Mama Rachel, I did better. I've got oxtails, and I hope that you enjoy them. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Baby. The rice... Actually, y'all, I got to be honest with y'all. I got to tell the truth. I cannot. I cannot tell a lie. I cannot. Y'all put some sugar on my rice. <laughs> Before I put this gravy on it, I love rice with gravy on it. But I got to have sugar. I was going to try to pretend, but I ain't going to do it. So I did put rice, I mean sugar on my rice, under the oxtails. I did. I really did. Mmm. And it is so good. Okay, y'all. So, look. Now I'm going to tell y'all how to make it. Hold on a minute. Ah. Mmm. Y'all, that was good. Big Ben is refreshing. Okay, y'all. So, this is how you make this. It doesn't really matter how many oxtails that you have. This that I have in here, we'll have some more left in there. But this particular way that I make these right here, they're made in a crock pot, okay? So the first thing that you're going to do, you're going to put your crock pot on high. Put it on high. As high as it'll go. You're going to get your oxtails, and you're going to take them, and you're going to wash them. Wash them real, real good, and then you're going to pat dry them so that they're not, like, they don't have water on the outside of them. After you pat dry them, put them in a bowl large enough where you can put them all in one bowl, okay? Then the first thing you want to do, you want to get oil. Mm. It doesn't matter what kind of oil it is. You can use peanut oil. You can use olive oil. You can use, I use vegetable oil in mine because that's prominently, I mean, I have other oils, but that's the prominent oil that I have. So I take vegetable oil. And I massage the oxtail with them generously. You want oil all over them. Because when you put them in the crock pot, you're not going to put in any water or anything in there with it. So you want to generously coat them with oil. Once you generously coat them with oil, you want to get you some of this stuff right here. This broth base and seasoning. It's the beef flavor. There is the brand right there. See it right there? This is what you want. You want to take this. And you want to put a generous amount of it in there. You're going to massage it in them all over them until they turn brown. After you do that, you're going to get this seasoning right here. All-purpose Greek seasoning. See it? This is the brand that I get. Pretty fairly easy to find. You're going to get this brand of the garlic seasoning. I mean the Greek seasoning. All-purpose Greek seasoning. You're going to get that and you're going to put that all over it. You don't have to put a whole lot of that. Just put some, make sure that each and every one of the oxtails gets it on it. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. After you do that, 
and you get it all mixed up, you have one more thing you're going to put on it. And that is roasted garlic and herb seasoning. And there it is right there. I use Grillmaster McCormick. They have another brand um, that is in Walmart. It's called, um, I don't forgot right now, but the one in Walmart has like a green label on it. I forgot what brand it is. But at the end, after you put this seasoning and you put this seasoning on it, these here take the most of these, the most of this. This is most important, okay? And then at the end, you're going to put um, the roasted garlic and herb seasoning on top of it. Just sprinkle it on it, and then you just mix it all together, and you put them in the crock pot with no water, no water on high, and you're going to put leave them in that crock pot on high, cover it up, you know, with the lid on it, for six hours. Somewhere around hour four, you're going to add your carrots and your potatoes if you want them in there. And baby, it's going to make its own water. It'll make its own juice. And then what I do is, once I get it all done, I'm ready to like cut it off, like the last 20 minutes, I take a flour water mixture. You put the flour in the bowl first. It generally goes about one tablespoon of flour to two tablespoons of water. And you're going to take a whisk, and you're going to whisk it. So it has no lumps in it, and it's really, really smooth. And you're going to whisk it up until it has a thickness of like a cake batter. And then you're going to just dip it, you know, pour it up in your water that your oxtails have already made. Once you get through with that baby, they'll be magnifique. They really will. They'll fall off the bone for you, baby. So... Now you got it. There's your recipe. I showed you the ingredients. Happy hunting, they say. <laughs> Y'all, it's really, really good. It's really, really good. It truly is. Oxtails. It don't take anything to them. I don't add any onion. I don't add any salt. I don't add any pepper. I don't add anything but what I just showed you and the oil. And I'm telling you, the flavor will come out magnifique. It'll be magnifique. It really will. It'll be delicious. It really will. Mm-hmm. My rice. Oh, it's getting a little cold down there. Well, not cold. But you know how rice stick together? You know, y'all, it's so good. It's so good. Mm-hmm. Get you some rice and put that gravy in this roux on top of that baby. Y'all, it's just good. It is, it's just good. Um, it is just excellent. It really, really is. They're just excellent. But now, listen, I'm going to tell you something. I can't vouch for no other recipes. I can't tell you to go look nowhere and find out how to cook them other than what I just told you. That's it. I can't, because, you know, I know some people bake them in the oven. And some people do them like in a stew pot. I do none of that. I do it this way every time, and they come out perfect every time. That's how I do them. They're too high to be playing around with. Because I'm telling you, you don't get, but like, I'm telling you, the ones that are this size, you don't get, but like, three. Maybe about three of them for like 12, 13 bucks. And, you know, the meat is a consistency like a, um, kind of like a neck bone, kind of sort of. Well, yeah, like a neck bone or maybe a roast or something like that. But it's yummy, yummy, yummy. They really am. Oxtails are the business. But they are expensive. They're not something you're going to want to buy and don't know how to cook and be messing up. For real. They're just not. Mmm. Mmm. You're going to want to know what you're doing when you cook them. Because you're being wasted your money. But they're too tough. 
And all that, the recipe I just gave you, that be tender, that be sliding up the bone. Cook them in that crock pot for six hours on high. Put your potatoes and your carrots in there somewhere around hour four. So that can be in there another two hours with the rest of it. And baby, it'll turn out just like this every time. If you don't know how to make, like, flour water, which, like I told you, if I'm not mistaken, it is one tablespoon of flour to two tablespoons of water, cold water. But you have to whisk it. You have to whisk it really, really good so that it doesn't clump up. If you got clumps in it, start over. Now, if you put clumps over in your water, it ain't going to go nowhere. It's going to stay just like that. And you're going to want it to be even. But y'all, they're really, really good. Now, if you have never had an oxtail, baby, 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 they are delectable. Mmm. Mmm. They're delectable. Today, when I went and got them, I asked this lady in the grocery store, how did she cook hers? And she gave me the whole rundown, but baby, um, she had some, she put hers in some type of like a tomato-based sauce. I'm pretty sure it sounded as if like it may be good, but baby, I can't spend my money to do that to my oxtails and then mess it up. You know, like if I had somebody here to just show me how to do it or on the phone to talk me through how to do it so I knew I wouldn't mess them up, I probably would try it. But other than that, I'm going with what I just told you. And they're going to turn out good every time. I'm telling you, with those seasonings that I just told you in oil, they're going to turn out perfect. As long as you cook them for six solid hours, you ain't going to need six hours and five minutes. You ain't going to need six hours and ten minutes. Six hours exactly on high in the crock pot. Mm-hmm. And they're going to be wonderful. They are. And then let me tell y'all what I did. So today, actually, man, <laughs> y'all, when I came home today, I was kind of tired. After I got from the grocery store and I came home and like I said, this is a real, real, what you call like a lazy man's meal. It takes nothing to prepare it. Just that little stuff I just told you, to, you know, to get it ready to go in the pot. And then you just put it in the crock pot, no water, no nothing, no watching. So when I came home, y'all, I was on the phone. On the phone, y'all, running my mouth and turned my crock pot on warm and didn't turn it on hot. And like I told you, this is a... A really, really tough piece of beef. It takes a lot to break it down. Mine has sat in the crock pot, y'all, three hours, really, on warm. Baby, these oxtails barely made a sweat. <laughs> you got to have it on high. You got to have it on high. Mm-hmm. That's so good. That is good, y'all. As you can see, I be trying to make sure I don't leave none of my meat. I cannot. I can't leave none of my meat on there, honey. None. I, I can't leave none of my meat on there. As a matter of fact, y'all, I'm finna go. <laughs> y'all, we finna go. I done told y'all how to make it. I done showed you how tender it was. And we finna get up out of here. You know it's got to be good if I ain't eating jalapenos, y'all. I wouldn't even eat my jalapeno. That's just how good they are, y'all. These are delectable every time you cook it. Every time you cook it. You guys, if you guys want to try it, go with the recipe that I just gave you if you don't know how to cook it. Your first time, and then, you know, as a cook, you can always alter what you do for the taste that you want. But this is the taste that I like. It's a very, very easy way to cook it. And I'm telling you, you will enjoy it. It's delectable. Cook you up your good old pot of rice. Honey. And put up on them honey. I put sugar on mine. Because <laughs> sugar with gravy and rice is so, so good to me. I know you guys in the comments going to be saying, eh, eh. 
Sugar ain't supposed to be on rice. You're supposed to put salt and pepper, honey. I'm putting sugar. That's what I'm putting is sugar. Every time, every time I am. So anyway, you guys, I love you guys so, 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 so much. I really, really do. And, uh, uh, somebody in my tea, y'all. I love you guys so, so, so much. I really, really do. I really, really do. And I know that you guys want some cooking shows. Like I said, I'm not exactly ready for it or set up for it just yet. But what I'll do is I will start bringing, like I did today, bringing the ingredients for the meal that are necessary over here with me and show them to you. That way you'll know exactly what I'm using. You know what I mean? And you'll know exactly what you're doing. You have the same exact brand that I do. Um, all three of these brands here, you can find like at a Kroger's or Publix or something like that. And you can find all of them in Walmart as well. All three of them in Walmart. Um, the broth is where the broth and the Greek season. Actually, all three of them are in the season aisle. None of these are in the refrigeration aisle or anything like that. They're all three in the season aisle in both places. Um, so that point is where you can get them at, even in Walmart. Okay. So y'all, we're finna get up out of here. We're finna go. We're finna go. We're finna go. Go cook you some oxtails. <laughs> y'all, they're so good. They are so 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 good. Anyway, y'all, we're going to see you tomorrow with another video. Day three of three of the Soul Food on the Lips channel. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget, if you are wanting your bottle of the Lips hot sauce, the link is in the description box. I put it way up at the top so you couldn't miss it. So you couldn't miss it, okay? I love you guys so, so much. Happy Sunday to you. I hope you guys are having a lovely day. I love you all. Y'all, we're finna get up out of here. To all my new legion, I love you so, so, so much. Me and my legion... We are so thankful that you are here. We're so, so thankful. You could have chosen to be anywhere else in the world, but you chose to be here with us. And we love you for that. So I'm my existing legion. I tell you every day, I love you. You know what's up. You know what's up. I love you guys so, so much. And we're going to get up out of here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look. Always remember that when obstacles come up in your life, there's always more than one way home. When obstacles come up in your life, there's always more than one way home. Stay prayed up and get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not here to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye. Bye. Mwah. Baby, baby, baby. All right. Tails, ox, tails, ox, tails, honey. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. Y'all better make this recipe. You better make it. It's good. Bye-bye, y'all.